All right, everyone, we're gonna try this for a fourth time. There's uh, too much information to get out, but. So Hunter Biden's tax investigation deal. Number one, I think this is a well-coordinated, timed media stunt to get people distracted from Georgia and the stimulus bill. So kudos to them. However, not kudos to all of you that fell for it. Now, why taxes? Why didn't they bring up his laptop? Well, taxes have an emotional trigger for Trump haters. So when someone hears taxes, they automatically think of Donald Trump's taxes. And so what would be the best way to keep people arguing? Well, bring up taxes. So there you go. Now, a lot of people are asking, why did it get tabled or hidden? So we all know the real reason. Uh, because it would have hurt Biden's campaign, just like if they had admitted or, you know, didn't suppress that. Uh, he also got the same deferments from Vietnam as Trump, the same number. Uh, his projected negative GDP and 542,000 jobs lost in his tax plan. They didn't report on that. Uh, they didn't show the video of him telling soldiers, clap, you dumb bastards. So, yeah. Uh, they didn't do a lot. So the FBI said that they didn't want to take any overt steps that would affect the election. Well, I don't know what an overt step classifies as at the FBI because that's subjective. Um, it would have violated policy. I'm going to read their policy. I'm going to try and find that. There's a difference between – one article I read talked about they didn't want to do anything – a, a, anything legal to affect the election. Well, this is Hunter Biden, not Joe Biden. So that's where I'm confused. And it's obvious that they were doing it to prote protect Biden. But pff, there's one thing not taking legal action during an election, but to just to suppress information is another thing. And the investigation, it's about his tax affairs, quote unquote, uh, something with money laundering and some other stuff related to China, I guess. Uh, now, Hunter Biden has had his issues in the past with taxes. Uh, he's had about a half million dollars in tax liens over the year that are supposedly paid for now. He also has a kid, I guess, with a woman in Arkansas that he tried to say it wasn't his, but now he is paying her an undisclosed amount of child support. So, you can look that up. And his drug habit, I don't fault him for that at all. We all have our vices. No one's perfect, and people who virtue signal that they are, are idiots. So, I have no room to talk, because cocaine is a... Cocaine is awesome until you run out, but anyways... So, that's pretty much it for the moment. I mean, just my big deal is the suppression of it and then the timing of this. I'm still trying to stay focused on Georgia and keep people focused on Georgia, but no. The ironic thing with Republicans, minus me, is they're complaining about the fact checkers, but then when someone like me does it, because I'm very, I may lean right, but I'm very, very level-headed, and I can put aside my own bias just to report stuff and say what I found. But all this stuff that I put up, they don't want to hear this shit. It's crazy. But So we'll see what happens with this. I don't think anything's going to happen. It never does. I mean, how long has Donald Trump been under audit now? What, five years or some shit? Like, it's this is all just a joke. It's a three-ring circus, but... To the very few people that did not fall for it, good for you. We need more people like you and I around. So there you go.